All right, what's up you guys? So we had another one, another tragedy, another mass shooting, another school shooting. Um, this is becoming a real, real problem. I mean, it's always been a problem, but it seems like over the last year or so, it's gotten really bad. Um, just more and more frequent. Um, seems like every other day you turn on the news and there's something about about somebody flying off the handle and just doing something absolutely astronomical. And I don't know what the answer is, you guys. I really don't know what the answer is. Um, so there's only so much you can do. I mean, if you wanna talk about gun control, then there's only so much you can do. I mean, what are you gonna do? Completely ban, you know, all ownership of guns when you know, 75 to 80 percent of people who own guns are just good, solid people who either want to protect their family or might enjoy hunting uh, or might just enjoy going to the range, you know, and shooting, shooting at targets, um, you know. But then you got the rotten apples of the bunch, the other 20 or 25 percent that have the potential to do something catastrophic and, you um, you know, something extremely, extremely bad. Um, so what do you do? I mean, you can't just completely ban all ownership of guns because, like I said, 75 to 80 percent of people who own guns, probably even higher percentage than that, are just good, solid people with no ill intentions, you know, who just own guns for reasons that are totally understandable and totally respectable. Um, you know, it's such a tough, such a tough thing. I mean, I can tell you that in other countries where it's almost impossible to own guns, they have very little to no mass shootings. And I mean, it makes sense, right? If, if you don't have the weapon, you can't commit the crime. Um, like, in the, um, like in the UK, for example, it's, it's extremely difficult to get your hands on a gun and to get ownership of a gun. And they have, mass shootings are pretty much unheard of there. You know, um, and it seems like a simple solution, but like I just got done saying, what do you do, punish everybody, you know, for the 20% that, um, that ruins it for everybody else? I mean, I just, I don't think you can do that because you know, it, it wouldn't be cool if the government came through and just swept every house, you know, went up to everybody's door and said, hey, I'm here to confiscate every single gun you guys have. Um, I know it's not fair. I know it's not right, but um, we can't we can't risk it. You know, regardless of whether you're mentally stable or not, we need to take your guns because there's too much crap going on in the world right now. And we need to take it away. We need to eliminate the threat. And then what are they going to do? Just confiscate everybody's gun? I mean, they can't do that. That's not an option. Um, so it really, it's a tough, tough situation. Um, I think a bigger problem is, well, at least when it comes down to kids and kids doing shooting, um, it's obviously the parents. The parents aren't doing enough to either keep an eye on the guns. You know, they're not doing enough on their part uh, to ensure the gun control, you know, maybe they're not keeping their guns locked up all the time. Maybe they're, um, informing their kids of, you know, where the, where the key to the, the gun cabinet is, whatever it might be. The parents are messing up. They're the ones dropping the ball there. Um, and you know, how much of it is outside circumstances? You know, how much of these kids have been tormented and just terrorized at school their whole life, just bullied? From day one, from day one, you know, they were just told that they were dog shit, that they weren't going to amount to anything. You know, everybody's just picking and picking and picking and picking at them day after day after day. And all they know how to do is bottle it up inside until the day they snap. You know, every single aspect of their life has just been dog shit. 
every corner they go around, there's been a roadblock. And then one day, they happen to find a way to get their hands on a gun. I think that's what we're, you know, that's more the issue here, at least when it comes to kids. Um, and we live in a country where, you know, you can get health insurance, you can get dental insurance, you can get 401k, you know, you can get all the stuff, but for whatever reason, they don't stress the importance of insurance, you know, to get mental health treatment, you know? It's all about the, the physical health, um, you know, going to the doctor, getting checked out, and not enough about looking at what's in between somebody's ears, you know? So when it comes to adults, I think every single adult, you know, who gets a license to carry should be subjected to strict, strict psych evaluations. I mean strict, as strict as it gets. Every terrorist can't get on planes. Why aren't they doing that with people and gun ownership? You know? But there's an issue with that too. Because how many people are getting their hands on guns illegally? Illegally. So that's an issue too. So if people, you know, find out that they have to go under... Um, you know, strict psych evaluations to get guns. A lot of people are going to find ways around it. You know, they're going to slip between the cracks and they're going to find ways around it, find ways to get their hands on guns illegally. And then you have the same problem all over again. And there's nothing anybody can do about it until, until it's too late. That's what we're dealing with here, guys. There's, there's so much, there's so much, that needs to be done, but so much difficulty in knowing how to do that correctly, while keeping in mind that the majority of people who carry don't have bad intentions.